Let me introduce myself as Hafiz and Dr. Muhammad Arkham. So, I have done MSc Economics and I have done PhD in Economics. And I have done post graduate diploma in foreign trade and I have done diploma in rural development. I have done this in the case of 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 the case جیسا کہ بھائی نے بتایا کہ لاسٹ ایونٹ میں جو ای بی این کا جو پروگرام چلا تو اس میں بہت سارے بزنس حضرات کو ایک آپرچنیٹی ملا کہ ان پرسن وہ اور بزنس پیپل سے مل سکیں it was just like a meeting تو میرے لیے بھی یہ بہت مفید تھا کیونکہ اس کے بعد مجھے بھی بہت سارے پروجیکٹ آنے لگے کیونکہ I was working on اسلامی بینکنگ بہت سارے حضراتوں کو پتا نہیں تھا کہ اسلامی بینکنگ کے تھرو آپ لوگ فنڈ لے سکتے ہیں جیسا کہ یوزویلی جو بھی بزنس حضرات ہیں آپ کے انویسمنٹ کو آگے بڑھانے کے لیے they think that they have only one option that is the conventional banking system which is 100% حرام because it is depend on ربا انٹرسٹ پہ ڈیپینڈ ہے تو اس میٹنگ میں میں نے بتایا کہ بھائی بہت سارے اپرچنیٹی ادر دین دس کنونشنل سسٹم بھی آوائلیبل ہے جس میں آپ مشارکہ لے سکتے ہیں مداربہ لے سکتے ہیں اجارہ لے سکتے ہیں لیکن یہ چیز ان لوگوں کو پتا نہیں تھی تو اس پلیٹ فارم کے طرح ایسے حضرات کو کیا بولتے ہیں کچھ نالج ملا اور کچھ کیا بولتے ہیں بہت ساری چیزیں معلوم ہوئی اور اسی بات کو لے کر آج بھی جو جمع ہوئے ہیں it is more of a business opportunity کیونکہ جو business حضرات آج میرے سے deal کر رہے ہیں وہ even they were not available on that day لیکن word of mouth کے طرح ان کو reach ہوا تو وہ میرے سے آ کر deal کر رہے ہیں تو اسی بات پہ میں آگے بڑھ رہا ہوں اور اب میں اور ایک حضرات حضرت کو invite کر رہا ہوں ان کے بارے میں تھوڑا انٹرو دے رہا ہوں ان کا نام ہے ڈاکٹر محمد اکسم انہوں نے پی ایج ڈی ان اکنوم پی ایج ڈی ان ماتمیٹکس کیا ہے اور وہ ایم ایس سی پونڈی چیری یونیورسٹی میں کرتے سمیں انہوں نے کارڈیو اسکلر موڈلنگ بھی کیا ہے تو وہ آج کرنٹلی پرنسپل ڈیٹا سائنٹس ہیں تو میں ان کو انوائٹ کر رہا ہوں آپ کے سامنے آئے اور سٹارٹ اپ کے سلسلے میں آپ لوگوں کو کیا بولتے ہیں انلائٹن کریں کہ سٹارٹ اپ کرنے کے لیے کیا کیا چیزیں مفید ہیں اور کیا کیا پیرامیٹرز چیلنجنگ ہیں اور اسپیشلی ہمارے کیا بولتے ہیں ہمارے علاقے کے لیے کیا کیا چیزیں مفید ہو سکتی ہیں یا ان کی نظریات کو پیش کریں تینکیو Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I will be speaking in English. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about uh, starting a business from scratch. Not only for the existing business, I will come up at the later stage of my talk. Uh, first, I want to discuss about freelancing and uh, uh, some of those people who want to do some mid-level business how they want to do some homework, how they want to come up with uh, some um, solutions or business strategies which will work out. In, so let me tell you about myself. I started as a uh, PhD in mathematics. Immediately after doing it, I tried to uh, opt for a data scientist work uh, as an experience of uh, 5.6 years as a data scientist, senior data scientist and then uh, n right now as a principal data scientist. The thing is that uh, I am also planning as uh, doing some homework for my startup uh, which might be related to IOT and uh, uh, something related to data science where I come from. The, what, what, what are all the homeworks I am doing? and what are all the different uh, uh, IT CEOs 
whom i have worked with and what are all uh, experience i gain so i want to share some of the things and how we engage with some of the freelancers and uh, how we try to get some of the work done uh, from the freelancer just like uh, outsourcing from your uh, general point of view so i will be splitting uh, uh, splitting up regarding the this business opportunities into three different things on the base of scaling like large scaled peoples like uh, more than 500 uh, uh, people working organization how we can do some of the small small poc and uh, uh, so, some use cases or new technologies how we can try to embed along with the existing business that will be a large scale business opportunities that i want to talk at the later stage but i want to talk about mid level uh, startup or people who want to do some uh, starting up the business it is not only specifically to uh, it business which i will be talking about now you can see lot of uh, people uh, coming up with uh, applications or app mobile based app which can be uh, a mid level business which can come into picture for instance like you might have seen this plumbing uh, people who who are all online or even matrimony uh, doing marriage brokers they are also coming up with the application oriented things uh, you, you see uh, uh, right now latest uh, uh, in in cities and all they will be coming up with uh, per day cleaning before diwali or before some festivals a, a person uh, you have to book through online and you uh, you have to pay through online so as they will come on a specified day and they will do all your house cleaning or office cleaning per day so all those peoples are trying to utilize data and the technology and the app but now the question is are they able to do that why can't the mid level business or any other businesses can able to opt for those kind of technologies but the thing is that first we have to motivate by our, by ourselves the first and foremost thing is are those plumbing peoples even i i i i see fix it or kind of apps which is running in one em body uh, they are not well educated might be some of them are iti uh, based people or even some of them are learned through some of the skilled uh, plumbers uh, who who had working with some plumber for some times they also know the opportunity of it now you see ola and uber as well obviously most of them or 80% of them are uneducated but they know the capability of it even though they know that the the part of money they are earning they have to pay for that platform but they know that if they go to airport they have to come vacant they have to come back empty so they will charge double uh, to those people who are going to airport if those apps are optimizing your resources money and um, if it is a win win situation for both as well as for the uh, the person who want to go and as well as cab driver they want to or they compelled to opt for that kind of technologies nowadays so what is my specific suggestion is let us change our mind and try to understand what are all the technological assistance which currently this uh, ai data science and other things are giving up and i don't want you to see a yeah, very fast and very big picture of it rather than what are all the small applications which can help us out we can try to see if it is working you can take it if it is not working let us see some other business strategies some other uh, sustainable strategies we can look on with this uh, mid level businesses what what currently in 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 our scenario i am seeing it is i see one or two, on on a small level who have very small skills even it may be it skill or any other skill a skill or day to day to day job someone can able to do or even our uh, students who are working in this college uh, who are uh, who are working in it they can do some uh, some part of the day or even week days some small uh, skills they acquire with that they can able to earn now they are registering in freelancing uh, websites 
telling that I can do some website for you. I can do some marketing for you. I can create uh, what you called YouTube video for your business. So as you can try to give a digital presence for some of the peoples. Now I want to tap those opportunities of those students or those uh, even you see data science and other courses are coming up in Islamia College as well. Those students, they also want to try something in their, uh, along with the studies. If they get some 2,000 rupees, 3,000 rupees, they can do some, uh, so, some, some kind of uh, services for you with their skills. And it, it can be act as a, uh, it can be act as for them as a experience and they can also be motivated towards uh, business or they can also be motivated towards an entrepreneurial journey and on 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 those note those small uh, are, are having a small skilled peoples we want to create an ecosystem or uh, we want to motivate those students who is having a, a partial skills to, to come up with. I, I recently come up with one of the Vanyambadi uh, two, stu, two students of final year who are doing uh, YouTube videos to any of the organization who want to make a digital presence and they professionally have some camera, they invested some 40,000, 50,000 and they are, they, are, they are giving that service to the people. But the problem right here is they doesn't know the business strategy or how to encash it and how to convert this into a business. That's where we have to also come up. Instead of, but it is a very, I, I motivated them, instead of just wasting their time, just roaming here and they're playing games and all, they opt for doing something. But they have to be properly monitored, they have to be shown in a such a way that how to convert this element into business. I was asking to them like, how, how you will convert this into a business? You are getting one or two um, uh, opportunity to present it. You are getting some 2,000, 3,000 money and you are looking forward for likes and views in YouTube and all. But how, how you will convert yourself as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner? Now it comes like you have to create your own catalog. What are all things you have done? You have to create your own profile a list of profile to, to which you can show in online. You have to create your website to show what are all the skills you have, what, to whom are all you can do services and all. Slowly your uh, business expansion should also be look on as well as your money to, to be also be flown on. You have to interact with so many peoples, either it may be Vanyambadi, Ambur or Chennai, Tripatur and all. You have to you have to generate your and cash your money also and you have to slowly start profiling your business to move up with if if you are talking about the small level business i will be giving some of the business strategies to try and error trial and error methods to just move up on if we are talking about mid level business people uh, we, along with it and along with leather I want ma our uh, Muslim community to be exploring different aspects of business. So as one or two business will be like ups and downs, the other will be compensating factor for the community to flow our money on. So I, I will be just motivating the uh, other than IT and uh, leather, all other business they can explore. Uh, you know, we, we have seen like some of the hardware and other things are all working quite best in our locality but right now it has been like uh, evacuating or it, it is just evaporating from thin air. So can we do some uh, e-commerce or online based uh, thing and we can do some offer and we can just attract the hardware business. Just as an example, the existing revamp of the, the business. Not only that, there are a lot of uh, the business incubation opportunities available in some of uh, uh, VIT and other places where our students are uh, our, our 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 students educated there. They will be getting an opportunity to become a uh, incubation right over there. 
if they come up with this solution if they come up with some 6 months of expenses of running their own business if they do lot of homeworks and they have a clear cut strategy or if they have a service or product based solution they can just create a project and they can approach vit or even islamia college is also come trying to come up with incubation center not only that they will start uh, they, they will on the way they will try to help you out in establishing your business i have seen by myself uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, effluent treatment company who who had been incubating right over there in uh, vit uh, who is uh, from anyambadi who who came up with uh, microbiology background he he set up the business in incubation incubation center in belur Uh, in vit right now he is successfully running his own business it's not only like the, he is also getting an opportunity of getting some initial amount seed fund and all those things from the government of india and he started the business so this is mid level businesses like if we move towards the large and high scale peoples who who, who is having 500 uh, or 600 people employees they can also try to explore the opportunity for data or artificial intelligence and other iot devices which can help assist the existing business and they cannot start in a large scale of course what they are doing they can do for 95% of the time but they have to also spend some 5% of resource money and other uh, other trial and error method for 5% business with a small pvc cut a big problem into a small problem at that point of time can we utilize data and uh, other latest technological business whether it is working or whether it is not working if it meets with a failure it 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 will is still be an experience what it is not working what it is working and all along with the existing business they can try to do cost benefit cost benefit analysis or if they have a lots of uh, data available they can try to optimize the existing uh, uh, analysis and they come up with optimization and uh, new technologies are coming up and as you know that the existing business for lots of years every 30 years there exists a, a dramatic change in the business opportunities and we used to say that experienced people are worthy of course they are worthy they know they have tried a lot of uh, people they met with a failure they learned a rate but now a new technology and new perspectives are coming up unlearn and relearn strategies like the things which are all working for past 3 years or past 50 years may not work in new latest technological world after covid lots and lots of thin- things are changing so we have to unlearn and we have we have to open up with new technologies to try up and try to see on so what from where i come upon is like i have seen lot of data analysis in my perspective of 5 years or 6.5 years of uh, principal data uh, scientist experience uh, we do uh, as a project uh, what i do is like uh, uh, airports analytics or de- overall airport maintenance on optimization and the cost efficiency to bring more revenue to gmr airports or even car park management for sweden airport or uh, the other like data management uh, platforms for the different businesses and come up with a small uh, poc and use cases to bring business up what what it is working what it is not working and how how we can come up with some small ideas and check it on the ground whether that uh, idea is working on predictive artificial intelligence deep learning and latest technological world as you can see some of the single chip computers and iot devices which are all part of creating uh, smart computers smart uh, smart city smart venues and all those things this kind of single chip computers and all you have to code it and you have to embed it it will do automated task for you so th- this kind of technologies are what we are trying our hands on is iot devices connecting to small small businesses or logistic solutions and all not only that as you can see some of the uh, naming a few some of the uh, companies which are all 
uh, train their hands on the new technologies for instance like uh, fast track and titan and all they also come up with uh, this uh, smart watch but they try only 5% of the smart watch in the market the along with 95% of watches what they have is their own old school of thought along with that five level of smart watches they are they are trying on so every business needs even you see uh, reliance trend and other people who are having established business currently working on but they want to try uh, they, they they collaborate with israel based company to 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 see what the trend of their clothing of israel to to mix up with the existing business of india to to have a different taste in the clothing industry different taste and different design and different things they are trying hands on of course they are, they, they are good at it they have been doing it for 10 years but still they are collaborating with different businesses different country businesses try to see those kind of uh, taste and those kind of trends and all whether it is catching up right here and uh, whether can we bring it, can we bring those technologies right over so as 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 i have joined this abp to give lot of business establishment solutions finance related or even um, optimizing their business i have been giving some solutions and opportunities the other day i have, I have with this uh, the final uh, uh, use case I, i i will tell and i will just uh, finish my thought uh, one of one of the uh, it guy was asking that i'm i'm trying to establish my business and i see that most of the people are not coming up to the to learning the training service which i want to give can you give some solutions to it Ca- can i give some uh, opportunity to down ridden people of ambur and one embody to get trained on this it and all they can move up but the problem with them is they are not coming up to us or they don't have money to fund for their training i was telling that there might be different opportunities you can try on either you you go up with overall 100% get some funding from other peoples and just go on or you create your own service or product which can at least bear do some uh, customer service or those kind of uh, application for 4 hours and 4 hours you train them are you are you d- discuss with some peoples half of the half of the money you you have to pay as a student half of the money can be crowd fund from other places and uh, this should this both should go on so your training of that person and as well as the service which you want to embed is also going on now the problem right at this juncture is we come up with lot of without any idea without any homework without any strategy if if we are if you are merging up with two two model service as well as training to the person we have to keep track on going on like up to what level it is working up to what level it is not working there might be the case that the person is spending more time on his job and he is not able to efficiently learn it then again our uh, our thought is not met and we have to stop it if we are not getting some money and we are just going up on training and at some point of time we will be evaporating all the money and we will met will failure so we have to keep track on we have to keep uh, things on and uh, i i have been uh, trying for uh, some different uh, uh, data analysis and techniques wh- while while along with my work right now for instance like uh, i i did political data analysis for the uh, for, for for mla who who, who from uh, from one embody who 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 tried his hands on for mla position what for 40 days we tried to do social media marketing we tried to see what kind of uh, thing he is discussing uh, which is having an impact on to vote them or on 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 sentiment analysis or deep learning analysis on his profile what are all things he is posting whether it is able to impact the people to vote him or not as you know that we are in the days of whatsapp and other things where people are trying to discuss about whether he will do good or what so we did 40 day analysis by spending some use case analysis to understand that whether this political analysis will work out 
it is both the way it uh, like it will help for our community as well as whether it is a business model it will come up so i had tried and hands on but still we met with the failure in the sense that the person for whom i we tried to do political analysis then uh, closely he lost the game but we able to understand what kind of pattern people are voting what works what doesn't work and uh, what are all the strategies are working up with the latest technology data analysis and data solutions and all with these things uh, i am open to uh, some of the solutions or some of the problems we you are having to have a uh, good uh, discussion with with this note i want to uh, conclude my uh, I, i want to thank uh, for giving me the opportunity as well